What's up, world? You're gonna join me on a small walk today down to our turtle trapping site. Uh, today, we're out at the Ross Natural History Reservation. It's one of ESU's eight natural areas, as always, I'm surveying. Uh, this one is stationed about uh, five miles outside of a small town called Americus, Kansas. And uh, it's mostly tall grass prairie, some, you know, small woodland areas. Uh, once upon a time it was cropland, but it's been restored, and it's, it's a pretty good base, uh, got a little, like, I don't know, domicile people can live in, or just like, you know, be stationed out, do research at, out of. Uh, today we're going down to Gladfelter Pond, set traps yesterday, I, I feel really good about it. Like, I know, I always say that, or not always say that, sometimes like, yeah, I don't think we're going to get into that. But I feel like I'm more optimistic than I am uh, cynical. So I do, but this one is exceptionally optimistic because I just, uh, it's a pond, so it's, you know, stationary water. And we've got, I feel like the traps are in some really good spots. And so, and I know there's turtles in this pond. And so I, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I had to rush and get everything set up, so, I mean, I think I set it up all right, and I kind of have to rush to get out of here today, too. Uh, I didn't even get a chance to fill out my notes from yesterday, so I have to go back and do that, but uh, it's going to be good. I, I think there's a good chance we get some different species than what we've been getting, which is just pond sliders, mostly, and I think we've had one painted turtle, one snapping turtle, and then we had the dead soft shell from last week, which I did not show you guys. But I think there's a chance to get some, I don't know, some, maybe some map turtles or I don't know, something like a, mus a mud turtle or a musk turtle, you know. I, I feel like we could also get a snapper. And so we're coming up with a pond now. It's nothing huge. Uh, it's bigger than the Coughlin little beaver dam spot that uh, I was, we were once at, but uh, it's, it's, it's nice. A little small. The water's really high, just because, as you know, everything's super high. And uh, we're here. Small little thing. First trap is actually right in front of us, tied right off kind of makeshift boat ramp. Uh, I don't know if there's a great place to set the phone. I'll probably actually lean it up against the bucket. And we'll get right into it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I can actually walk up on this one and see if there's anything in it. Let me take off my shirt like I usually do. This one's kind of in the weeds, so I don't know. If there's one I expect to not have any, it's this one, but I expect them all to have turtles today. I really do. Seems like work is going to be cut out from there. It's going to be real busy. Lo and behold, actually, we did not get any turtles in this one, though. So, so much for my shitty hypothesis. Uh, we're going to leave it set up, though. So, ooh, water is cold. Other two traps are still there, I can see, which is good. No turtles, I can't believe that. There is a hole in that net, I noticed yesterday. But it's at the top, so I don't think... It's a very escapable hole as it is right now, but I don't know, who knows. Uh, so we'll go over to the, the other two, which are right by each other. If we don't have any turtles, I'm going to be very, very, very surprised. But as I said, if there was one that wasn't going to have them, it was that one. I feel really good about these two. One time, when I was, we, this, this is one of the spots that you take field trips a lot to if you're, uh, you know, taking ecology courses at Emporia State. And uh, one time I came out here for, I think it was stream ecology, and uh, caught a snake, which isn't that big of a deal, right? But I, I caught it like a badass, like it was diving underwater. And I chased it out into the open and everyone was watching me. 
and it goes underwater, and boom, I go in underwater, and I come up with it. I felt, I felt really cool. So, now we're gonna set our ship down. I think I can lay this right against the base of this tree. Look at that, you actually see both traps in the same one. So, let's see if we got anything. Oh. That one surprisingly has nothing. Okay. Well, I'll reset that properly in a second. I'm guessing this one doesn't have anything either then. Sure doesn't. Tell you what, I did not expect that. I didn't expect that one bit out of this pond. Maybe it's because the water's so high? I don't know. I don't know. But that's not what I expected. I expected some kind of animals. Not even fish, you know? I mean, I don't think there's a great bass population or anything in here, but still, still, you know? Sure is cold. I can't believe that. Well, they'll stay baited how they are for today, and they'll get rebaited tomorrow. Man, oh man. I really thought I'd have a lot more work to do today. But, apparently not. I just like this. Okay, I have to reset that one. Oh, the phone fell. Fuck. Well, I mean, you're not missing anything. I just, part of the trap was caught up on itself, so I just unhooked it and had to get back in the water and reset it. That's all. So, on that note, I'm gonna end it. Thanks for listening to me talk with no payout. I mean, we'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully. Ugh, some results. Alright, well, catch you later.